No, no, it's not good. <laughs> so we are in uh, Tenerife on top of, uh, of the island, uh, just at the bottom of the volcano. So actually really nice and yeah, it's a pretty high altitude, more than uh, 2000 meters. And we are here to prepare for the next goals. With the team, yeah, I had uh, some individual ones uh, in the past, so I'm used to altitude, but it's the first one with the team and I'm happy to be here with the team. I would wake up around 8, 8.30, have breakfast and then normally I do a yoga or like mobility routine outside when it's sunny and then we go for training between uh, one hour and five or five and a half and then we have the recovery meal and then uh, basically recovery, sometimes nap but I'm not really a nap person and then I will maybe read a bit or we play games and then it's uh, yeah, already dinner time and yeah, then probably ready to go to sleep, maybe I read a bit of a book or watch some, uh, some movie. I think we had a kind of a, not argument, but almost because oh, it was hard. I thought that you shouldn't stretch before, like, I'm pretty sure that you shouldn't stretch before not, riding not or long. training. Like, it's short stretch, not Yeah, or like, not, like, dynamic, you should do dynamic stretch. And she was like, no, you need to stretch. So I was refusing to do it when we were all together, and she was like, no, you need to do it. Blah, blah, blah. It was funny. <laughs> and then we were doing one minute plank and we were like, oh, fancy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Today's plan uh, for hours with six times six minute efforts. But pretty easy because it's only day three. So it's just to get a bit uh, in the rhythm and to see how the feelings are. And uh, then we'll have an easy afternoon and uh, yeah, we'll rest for the next day. <laughs> I think having a cook is uh, actually the biggest uh, yeah, change for me because you don't have to think and you don't have to do groceries, you don't have to cook for yourself and also the nutritionists are making the plan of uh, how much to eat and what to eat so that's really, uh, yeah, you, you really are, uh, your, man, your mind is free so that's really nice and you can just focus on training and recovery. We are also here with uh, more athletes so we can uh, yeah, talk and yeah, not only about cycling but also yeah, still about the training and discuss the routes and stuff so yeah, it's a big advantage I think. Do you want a computer? He is not answering anything. Maybe. Yes, he's just... Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah. It's not good. Only one thing. They do climb twice, I think. The girls are more organized now, I have to say. Yeah, it was a day well run. Yeah, for the first time uh, Tour de France Femme of the new era, it was for me just uh, actually really nice, amazing. Actually, from the start, even before the start, it was already super nice to feel the atmosphere, all the people uh, who came to watch us and the media attention was also really big, but this was a really good thing to experience for women cycling. So I was really happy to have, uh, yeah, to experience it and so many people were here to cheer for us. and. For me, especially in the last part, because it was uh, yeah, really close to my home, so I had even more people uh, cheering for me along the road, so it was yeah, really great. What's the name of the one in Belgium? No. Mur de Vie? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> kind of. When I was uh, young, uh, we couldn't go to Tour de France Femme, so I think now uh, yeah, the girls can uh, just go and see us. So. It's really yeah, just amazing that they can do it. I, I mean, I was doing it when I was uh, doing BMX and I was going to, the, yeah, to my idols and ask for pictures and yeah, selfies, or whatever, autographs. So I think that's, that was really special for me to see it from the other side, kind of. Yeah, the sprints were actually good, but it was a bit hard. You can feel uh, that it's altitude day three. I was really pleased with it because I aimed for a top five, so I was satisfied for sure. But uh, looking back, uh, there was one stage where I lost 40 seconds and in the end it was uh, 
almost the same time that I lost to the podium. So for sure, and it was not, uh, it was a bit of a mistake from us uh, on that stage. So of course I had some regrets, but on the other hand, uh, I was still so satisfied because I reached my goals and it was, uh, yeah, it made me motivated for the future. But I think the most important is to reach the best of yourself and to have no regrets. I think that's the most, uh, if I end up on the podium, that would be amazing. But if I give everything and that as a team, we did everything perfect and I'm, for example, sixth, then yeah, that would be it. But for sure, yeah, who would be on podium would be really good. I think it's actually, there's more, like, of course, there's the Tourmalet stage, especially as it's a second last stage and the TT is also really key. But I think there's some in between stages, uh, like the one from Rodez, I think is a really tricky one, kind of classic style. And I think that could already, uh, yeah, uh, make the GC a bit uh, already. Yeah, a successful tour would be, yeah, like I said, uh, giving everything, feeling good, and uh, reaching my best. And as a team, that we reach all our goals. I think because uh, it's not only the GC, but also the sprint with uh, Charlotte. So I think, uh, yeah, that would be really a successful one if we have no regrets and did everything uh, that we could. Yeah, I'm ready for it. <laughs>